round to doing that for ages. I'm nearly finished. You must have had an early start. I didn't hear you get up. You sleep all right? Well, it's better than that pickup truck. I don't suppose you've had any breakfast. I helped us out of some toffee. Well, come on back to the house. I'll do you some bacon and eggs. It's been a long time since I did a bit of hard graft and got a meal put down to me. You can't whack it. Room service. <clears throat> Eric. Oh, look at the time. Why didn't you wake me? Well, I'm waking you now. What's all this? This is breakfast in bed, compliments of the management. Oh. Uh, cereal, toast, marmalade and tea. Oh, thank you. What about you? Uh, I'm not on the breakfast menu, madame. <laughs> no, no, I mean... Have you had it? Yeah, I have. And so is Lucy, and she is bathed and dressed and happily playing with her jigsaw. Mm. So, now I am going to go downstairs, show my cheery face to the guests, and you are going to have a well-deserved lie-in. What brought this on? Do I need a reason? Trish this morning, isn't it? Trish? Mm, wasn't Trish on breakfast? Um, yes, yes, I think she is. Look, she should be here by now, so I'd best just go and check me. <clears throat> Eric? What's going on? Forgot to put the milk in. Oh, no, no, I don't want to speak to him. Look, just tell him I'm not feeling well and I'll not be in this morning. I know I'm sorry. Right, thanks a lot. Bye. You all right, love? Yeah, I've just got a headache. Hey, will you stop that? Your sister's got a headache. You'll be giving me one next. You take in for it? Oh, it's nothing. It's probably just because Effie's been bashing me about a big night, huh? Oh, don't remind me. Mm, tonight's the night. How did I get roped into this? Because you're too nice. Yeah, you're a mug. <laughs> oh, she cornered me, ain't you? What else could I do? Could say no. Listen, this is hard enough for me without you and your smart remarks. Don't worry, Miss Crombie. We'll be out from under your feet in a minute. Come on, you two, get a move on. You sleep all right? Why wouldn't you? Well, I thought after your fright the other night there. I did not get a fright. <laughs> it would have frightened me if I'd have woke up and found Davis dead in a broken arm. I'm not some neurotic woman living in fear of an intruder, you know. Well, you won't have to worry from now on. Miss Higgins getting the security system reinforced. You can sleep easy in your bed again. Right, you two, I'm off. Sorry I can't stay and help, but I better show my face. It's the last time all the staff are together before the big takeover. So I'll try and get back early. Isabel. Have you seen this? You can't leave these here, love. Somebody could trip over them. You know, it's amazing, isn't it, Mena, how I managed to run this shop all these years without your Uncle Alan. I think it's nice he's taking an interest, though. I suppose so. Still, if things go on the way they're going, there's not going to be a shop for him to take an interest in. And on top of all that, you've got me and a baby. Now, I don't want you worrying about that. But you are. Isabel, I've been thinking, I don't expect you to buy me everything brand new. I mean, Susan can lend me a little baby things and I can get a second-hand pushchair. Mena, uh, Mena, now your uncle would hate to hear you talking like that. You are never a burden. No, this is just a, a wee rough patch, it'll pass. And your baby is going to bring us nothing but joy. Flaming Sam Hagen. What is it? You mean you haven't heard? Oh, I'm the last to hear anything now. Didn't you get a letter from her? Oh, no, I might have. I don't rush to open the mail these days. I'll just put the kettle on. Thanks, Lily. She's raising the rent. She can't do that. Oh, she has. 20%. Oh, this is all I need. Oh, oh and I'm thrilled about it. Mary, my business is sinking fast. Alan's been made redundant. And now a rent rise? And in a wee while, of course, we're going to have to lay out for a new baby. And you know how much that costs. I'm surprised at you. What? Well, you're a married man, aren't you? So? You should know about all the things a woman has to do to make herself look good. It takes time. That's why I want to, to get away early. Effie, um, what, what exactly did Trish say was wrong with her? She just said she wasn't feeling very well. And that was all, was it? Yeah. Will she be in this evening? Oh, you can't ask me to cover for her. No, you wouldn't do that, would you? Oh, Miss Joanna, you do understand, don't you? What's wrong? Well, Trish isn't in today. She's, um, phoned in sick. 
And it's my night off. I've been looking forward to it for ages. Oh, you can't ask me to shift it. Look, nobody's asked you to work tonight, Effie. Well, so Trish will be in. Well, she didn't say. Right, I'll just go and phone her. Uh, uh, no, just leave it, would you? Well, I think you should phone her. I mean, be firm. Just tell her you, you won't take no for an answer. <sighs> yep. Do you know how many deer we killed last year? No idea how many. I don't know. But somebody's just asked me, and I hate not being able to answer. Mm, it's the kind of thing the gamekeeper would know. Thank you, Sheila. How many applications have we had? Well, roughly two. Two? I was expecting over a hundred. One from a 55-year-old man who hasn't done gamekeeping since 1986. Oh. And one from a far younger, more experienced man whose main concern is finding living accommodation for his wife and four children. No way. We have advertised in all the right places. I know. I just can't understand why no one locals applied. Typical of people round here. They do nothing but moan if things don't suit them and put an opportunity in their direction you get snubbed. People here do have strange loyalties. This arrived this morning from an experienced gamekeeper. Oh, really? No name. I'd rather starve than work for an English Lady Laird, and everyone else round here feels the same. You're only interested in buying up bits of Scotland to impress your London jet set, but you'll never belong. I see. Right, thank you. Okay. Bye. 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 Oh, dear. Can I get you anything? This is a gassy's place, isn't it? Look, if you don't want anything, I suggest you leave. Who says we don't want anything? Jumbo. What? Cheers. Oh, give me that. I'm just kidding. Uh-uh. <laughs> Say please. Give, give it to me. Please. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Jumbo. Uh -huh. I'm sure you're used to shopping in an upmarket store like that, but for me it was a wee bit special. Was it really? <laughs> yeah, they've got a half price sale on. And you know, the assistants, they were so attentive. Oh. One of them told me I had the figure of a French woman. <laughs> Big bust and then in at the hips. <laughs> Apparently, your typical British woman is the opposite way round. See, pear-shaped, flat chest. Big bum. <laughs> no offence. <laughs> Effie, it's all sales talk. You shouldn't fall for it. No, but somebody like you, you know, often gets the chance to go to big do's and get dressed up. You don't know what it means to somebody like me. I want it to be special. Oh, I'm sure it will be. You know what decollete means? Oh, decollete. Oh. It sort of means, you know, uh, more cut. Oh, hello, jockey. How's Trish? Oh, she will be all right for tonight, huh? Oh, I think so. Just a sore head. Oh, I'm so relieved. I'm so looking forward to it. Uh, well, you know, I'm is... getting a, a wee half an hour early, just to be sure that I'll be there for half past six. You know, it'll take us a wee while to get there. Uh, well, I was wondering... Uh, we're going to the Santa Lucia, no less. <laughs> Effie, I hear that is very nice. Oh. Uh, hold on, Effie. Look, we've got security people coming today. I've got to be there while they check it out, in case they want me to show them where things are. Uh -huh. So, if it's all right with you, if you don't mind, well, I'd rather pick you up a bit later. Oh, oh that's no problem at all. Say half past seven. Yeah. I'll give you all the more time to make yourself beautiful, Effie. <laughs> Makes you sick, doesn't it? Poor guy was defending his wife. And she grasped him with the pigs. If you don't want anything, then I'll... You what? Ask you to leave. Oh, no. Look, who says I'm not wanting anything? Give us that. You tried that stuff? No. Oi! The... Oh, no, I don't fancy that. Right. Out. Out or I'll... You what? Tell on me. That's all this place is good for. Now, back off. Didn't you hear me? I said back off. <laughs> right, jump on now. Are you all right, Julie? You're all right. What? 
Come on. Let's go. Oh. Too late, Isabel. Can't catch them now. Can't? I won't. Well, even if I did, I couldn't lay a finger on them. So what's the point, eh? You hungry? Aye, smells good. Well, sit down, then. Thanks. Look, I don't mean to be unkind. But you'd like to know just how long I'm going to stay around this place, eh? I did say it was only for a couple of nights. You did? It's not that I don't appreciate you helping out, but well, there isn't enough work to keep you here. And even if there was... You wouldn't want me. Don't worry. I'll go any time you like. Oh, well, there's no rush. Tomorrow will be fine. <laughs> I'll just take this out. <laughs> Hello. You should have phoned Dad to come to the house. I'm sorry if you're busy. No, don't worry. I'll come straight to the point, Morag. As you know, Lord Strathmorris has taken Tom Care with him. I need to replace him as gamekeeper. I wouldn't have thought you'd have had a problem there. Oh, I've had all sorts of responses from all over the country. But ideally, I'd like to replace him with a local man. Well, I see. It would make for good relations between the estate and the community, and I couldn't be accused of bringing in an outsider to steal a local job. Sounds like good thinking. You've lived here all your life. Yes, I was born in this house. So you must know everyone. You want me to recommend a gamekeeper? No, Morag. I want you to be my gamekeeper. Can I think about it? What's there to think about? It's only short term. You'll get back to your goats eventually. Come on. You and I have established a good working relationship. Let's build on it. I'll see you in my office. First thing Monday morning. I take it you heard all that. She's only offering you the job because nobody else will work for the cow. Working for her doesn't worry me. I just don't think I can do the job. I told you, I haven't seen them before. How many times do you want me to tell you? Here, drink this, Mena. That's enough, Douglas, I think. You're quite sure, Mena? Yes. You have no idea who they are? No. Now, you're not just saying this because you're scared they'll get you. No. Look, I, I think that's enough now, Douglas. Come on, girl, let's go on through. Shall we? You know, all I've ever done is work. Blair store. Not even my name above the door. But we go together, me in this shop. I mean, it was more than just my livelihood, you know? It was my, my place in the village. No matter what happened, I always had my wee shop. Till now. Slogans painted on my walls. A few customers I have left can't look me in the face. And now this. People must really hate me, Douglas. Of course they don't hate you. No, no. Why else would they do a thing like this? They just sound like chances to me, Isabel. A couple of lowlifes jumping on the bandwagon. Aye. And knowing fine that nobody would lift a finger to stop them. Trish. 
Trish, wait. Trish, please. Look, I'm glad I saw you. Uh, I wanted to speak to you, but I didn't know if you'd done. Um... Look, about last night, I, I really am very sorry. I had absolutely no right. Uh, of course, I take the blame. Uh, I mean, people say it just happened, but it, but it, it did. It just happened. You're a lovely girl, Trisha. You're a very special girl. I... Well, I suppose we've been getting a bit closer, and I... I suppose I should have realised that and, and held back, but... Uh... Well, you see, the thing is, I... I'm married. I love Joanna and Lucy, and... Well, you and me, I mean... Oh, God, I hate saying this, but... Uh, nothing can come of it. God, you flatter yourself. You kiss me, remember? Yeah, I know, and I'm very sorry. Yeah, so am I. Oh, and you needn't worry. Your little secret's safe with me. But Trish, the last thing I wanted to do was to hurt you. Well, it's all right. I'm not hurt. You are a very special girl, Trish. Yeah, so you've said. So, can we, um... Can we forget it, then? Already have. Right. Oh, Lucy. <laughs> Look, you've lost your hat again. Now, come on. You're going to put it back on this time for Daddy, please? No. Is this private enough for Miss Smith? Oh, yes, yes, thank you. Oh, Valerie. Oh, yes, thank you. Oh, Valerie. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Ah, oh, time. Thanks. You kept looking at my tie. I'm underdressed. No, you're not. I like the look. It's new. No, no, I've this rig out for years. Uh, it's in here. Aperitif, sir. <laughs> More like Stuart. The goat woman. Well, I have to stay someplace, don't I? Unless, of course, you want to invite me back to your bed. It's not my fault you were caught. The way you were acting, anyone would think you wanted caught. Yeah, well, now she's on the lookout. She's at a security firm in here to upgrade the alarm system. When am I going to see you? You're joking. I won't last the weekend, David. Are you sure there's nothing between you and goat woman? I'm sorry you're wasting your time. We already have double glazing throughout the house. Thank you. Goodbye. Salespeople. Did you send for the doctor? No, she didn't want me to. I've made her go and lie down, though. She's very shaky. And what about you? You look as if you could do with a wee lie down yourself. Oh, I'm fine. Well, you don't sound fine. God, look at this place, Mary. All I did was tell the police what I saw, and this is to happen. What if TJ's found guilty next week? What are they going to do then? Set the place alight? Attack us in the street? Oh, at least you're not on your own. You've got Alan to help you. Yeah. Fresh cream cakes. All ruined. We'll have to throw them out, I suppose. Oh, I'd like to stay and help you clear up, Isabel, but we've got to get back for the oh, class. Don't you worry, Mary. I'll be here from now on. I'll soon put the place to rights. By this time next week, you won't even know it, love. I didn't think you'd manage to eat all that after having two starters. I'm enjoying every mouthful. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty full. I'll not be wanting a dessert. Oh, you'll need to have one to keep you company. I'm, I'm having a lovely time. I would have thought this was a bit of a busman's holiday for you. Oh, it's good to get away from it all. It's not often you get the chance to get dressed up and have a night in the town. <laughs> not lately, anyway. I'm sorry. Oh, it's OK. So did you and Sadie go out much? We used to when we were dancing. Stopped that when the kids got bigger. I used to get bored night after night stuck in front of the telly. I never realised these were the happy times. I had all I wanted at one fireside. Aye. Well, I think you've been great, Jockey. No, I haven't. Mm. I have. Keeping your wee family together. The two of them are doing very well. Sadie would have been proud of that. 
you're not doing too badly yourself. A lot of men would have gone under. You know, I'm not really a religious man. Sometimes I like to think that she's there, you know, keeping an eye on us hmm. somewhere. Keep us in line. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Effie, I shouldn't be going on with this. Oh, not at all, not at all. All she cared about was the kids. Well, she cared about you, too. She wouldn't have wanted you moping around at home. I suppose not. Oh, here. We'll need to get another bottle. Mm. I'm OK. Oh, we'll need one for the cheese board. We're closed. No, I'm not here to buy anything. Oh, no, of course not. You use that carpool to our town. I've just heard what's happened. How have you? And I really am so very sorry. Oh, what about? The fact that my shop's been vandalised? Or the fact that you were on their side? But I wasn't. Oh, well, that's funny. Because they were saying just the kind of things you were. Look, I'm quite sure that nobody in this village wanted this to happen. Oh, don't kid yourself. They'll all be sniggering behind their hands. Oh, <laughs> what now? Mena, what is it? <laughs> Call an ambulance, quick! Are you happy now? Thank you, sir. Can't believe tonight's nearly over. Tomorrow I put on my catering supervisor outfit and start cooking for other people again. It's been a bit of make-believe. Two lonely people enjoying each other's company. Yeah. I have enjoyed yourself, have you? This time I've had the ages. Can I ask you a question? Yes. I tried to say this all night. Don't have to bring it up. Well, on you go. You and me. We're not kids, we're adults. We should be able to be direct with each other. Absolutely. I don't want to embarrass you. Oh, no, 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 you won't. The thing is... She hasn't been in this position. Could you see your way to it? Yes. I'd be very grateful if you could. Yes. Go half us with me. I haven't got enough on me. You're all right now, Lena. I'm going to come with you in the ambulance and Uncle Alan will follow on in the car. Oh, I'm insane, baby. No, no, we don't know that, Lena. I'm, I'm insane. 